Hey everybody, good morning this morning. It's Dr. Eric Naputi. I hope you're having a great day. Hey, listen, I wanted to um, I wanted to get a video out. Man, there's so much just fake news going on right now in the world of health and wellness. It's crazy. And, and it's really hard for you know the average person to really decipher through all the minutia or the all the crap that's being broadcasted out. I mean, like for example, the other day, you know, there was all this bad PR about coconut oil. And I did the video the other day that talked about how there's 1,700 articles out that shows, uh, research articles shows benefits of coconut oil, how, you know, this group uh, that says it's bad put all saturated fats into to a group together. And even though, you know, coconut oil is mostly medium chain fats versus long chain, which is way healthier. Uh, and by the way, there's never been one study that's shown that saturated fat causes heart disease or, or strokes. So, I mean, just, just all this misinformation, it kind of makes you wonder who's putting it out there, who's giving these stories to the media to put out. And the media is just doing the best they can. It's hard for these guys to vet this stuff out. They're not scientists. They don't know. They got to trust the doctors, right? So if a doctor or an organization has an ulterior motive about something, then it's pretty easy to get it past, um, you know, mainstream media. It is. I mean, look at look over the past couple of years, all the stuff that we've been lied to or misinformed about, whether it was intentionally or unintentionally done by the media. Uh, so I want to talk today about about um, you know vitamin D three. I, I made some notes here, and I want to go over this with you a little bit. You know, vitamin D3, I mean, you guys, this is crazy. There's all these articles going all over the place. And um, yesterday, I think it was, it was earlier this week, uh, Good Morning America did a um, did a talk or had a segment where there was a doctor on there who was a, a medical doctor, nutritionalist as well. And, and they were talking about the, the warnings of vitamin D3 supplementation. Okay, so let's be really clear. First of all, Vitamin D3 is essentially needed. It is the number one deficiency of all men and women across the planet, especially those of us that live not next to the equator, okay, which are Americans and everybody else. The closer we live to the sun, more sun we have, the higher potential we have of making our own vitamin D3. So let's talk a little bit about vitamin D and vitamin D3 uh, particularly. So first of all, you know how we get it? Our body makes it. We make it through the sun. Our skin gets exposure, our eyes, all these kind of senses in our body. It's kind of like photosynthesis, like a, like a plant is, okay? But, but here's the deal. Vitamin D3, every receptor, every cell receptor in your body has a D3 receptor site, which means not only is, is vitamin D3 a vitamin, but really it's a pro-hormone. It actually starts uh, other cascades of other processes to be made in the body. So it's, it's, it's very, very important. And just so you know, the average American adult utilizes per day 5,000 IUs a day is what our body uses typically. Sometimes more, the more stress we're under, the sicker we are, but 5,000 is what we use a day. And so unless you're getting more than 5,000 a day in you, you're not even breaking even every day and you're slowly losing that number. And by the way, when you get your blood test done to look at vitamin D3, which is what you need to look at is vitamin D3 on a blood test, the, the reading should be, the medical readings say between 30 and 100. Well, we don't want you to be anywhere near 30, and, and there's actually a lot of research that shows going above 100 is beneficial, but we like you to stay somewhere around that 100 range, you know, a little bit, a little bit less is fine. We've actually found that the, the higher above 60 you are, the more health benefits there are. So the number needs to be 60 or above is actually shows the most health benefits, and there's tons of research on it, and I'll post all that stuff so you can have it as well. In fact, if you want a really good resource to go, go to uh, vitamin D3 Council. Um, dot org is um, vitamin D3.org is a great, great site you can go to, and I'll give you some more resources as well. But let me tell you this: the average person, if you're out in the sun, does not make vitamin D3. You want to know why? Because your body has to be in perfect balance and harmony with low stress, with your hormones balanced, with your gut bacteria the way it's supposed to be, and all these things should be working like they're like normal so that your body can produce vitamin D3. Most people don't have that. The people that do have that and that are outside for a full day, their body can make anywhere between 10,000 to 25,000 I use a day of vitamin D3, which is not the average American. Oh, by the way, when you're under like these fluorescent lights that are at my home or, or um, lights at your office or wherever it is you're at during the day, that actually zaps the vitamin D3 from you. Wearing sunglasses zaps the vitamin D3. Putting on uh, things like um, uh, you know makeup and um, covering your skin with with uh, you know long sleeve shirts and wearing things like sunscreen blocks your body's ability to make D3. D3 is essential, you guys. Now I will tell you this. Um, you know the, the the reality is is that if you look at the the medical resources that are out there, um, there are different you know 
organizations that make different recommendations. And I'm going to tell you that we base ours of, off of the American Academy of Anti-Aging as well as the Nutritional Council uh, recommendations. And they recommend anywhere from an adult from 5,000 to 10,000 IUs a day is a good dose. Now, I'm going to tell you, we need 5,000 a day minimum. So I like to recommend 8,000 a day for most of our patients. But here's what we recommend. We recommend what's called an emulsified D3, which is a, a water-soluble form of D3. Emulsified D3 is better absorbed and uh, it reduces the risk of any toxicity levels. Which, By the way, it's very difficult to get toxic levels of D3. It's very difficult. I'm just going to tell you, it's almost impossible. Um, as long as your liver is functioning good and your kidneys are good, the, the chances of that are very, very slim to none. Most people are so low on the vitamin D3 level that it causes everything from, and I just, I just wrote a list, it causes everything we know, contributes to cancer, degenerative disc disease, respiratory issues. I just tell you, there's medical literature that shows that you can actually treat pneumonia with 20 to 30,000 IUs two to three times a day for a couple days a week and pneumonia is gone. Um, if you have kids that have respiratory stuff, you need to give them D3 regularly. And by the way, for kids, the, the same uh, sites that we use to, to base our justification for treating um, adults, we use the same ones for kids, and they see anywhere between 2,000 to 4,000 for most of your kids. But you guys, I like to test. You know, that's why with all of our nutrients, we like to do blood draws or urinalysis or DNA tests or whatever to find out what you need and how you're handling it so we can test you every 90 days to make sure that you're doing the right stuff. Because you guys, things change, right? The more stress we're under, the more these things we need. And, and so again, going back to the, the benefits of vitamin D, they've actually shown research that it benefits with cancer, especially things like prostate cancer, skin cancers, degenerative disc disease, which is a very common thing that we see in, in our, our practices where there's people have a lot of pain. Um, it's very good for bone health, very good for muscle function. It's essential for muscle function, you guys. It's very important. And by the way, for, for brain health, vitamin D3 is also, um, it's, it's a fatty acid. I mean, it's a fatty um, uh, product. And so the brain needs D3 so that it can function and grow like it's supposed to. Vitamin D3 and, and HCL, good fat, are needed for brain function and for hormone function. It's a pro-hormone. Um, it's also needed for cardiovascular support. We know there's a lot of people out there that, that um, start getting on vitamin D3 and it helps with their heart disease and their carotids and all this stuff. It's a fact, you guys. I mean, the research sub supports this. Um, it's great for circulation, great for respiratory health. It's amazing for the immune system. I can't tell you how many people that we have, have seen over the years that have had poor immune function um, and we start getting their vitamin D3 levels to raise over time. You, you can't just raise it real fast. There's no way to do it. You slowly raise it over time. And once we get it to that, you know, 60 or above where we really want to keep it, you know, 60 to 100, somewhere in there is ideal. Um, maintaining that, the, the, they don't get sick as much. I mean, that's just a fact. I'll just tell you with me doing this for over a decade now and, and, and having, I don't know, 20 or 30,000 people that I've put on vitamin D3 that have done amazing. And there's never been one side effect, just so you know, not one. Um, it also helps with cellular communication. Again, like I said, every cell, every receptor site in the cell has a D3 receptor site. It's needed, it's essential, so that you can have proper function, DNA repair. Uh, it's really important in, in the roles of epigenetics, how your genes can turn on and turn off. Vitamin D3 is essential. And you know, it, it gets a bad rep. Um, you know, they were talking about on the news the other day, if you're taking more than 800 IUs a day, you're at risk. That's a joke, that's an absolute joke. There's no research that supports or substantiates that, none. Um, in fact, I even looked for the research articles that they said so I could read them. They don't, they're, they don't exist. I don't see them. So anyone out in Facebook land or social media land that can find those, please send them to me. I'd love to, I'd love to look at them uh, so I can research them more. Because, you know, our job is to educate people. Doctor in Latin means teacher. And, I, and a lot of times we have to educate doctors as well because they just don't know. They have to understand that the average doctor's um, education when it comes to nutrition is about 10 to 15 hours. That's what they get in medical school. Um, the average chiropractor, which obviously that's one of the degrees that I have, you know, we get over 100 hours in school, which is quite a bit more. Most of us, like myself, go on and get higher levels of education in nutrition. And at this time, I've had over 40,000 hours of continuing education on nutrition, advanced education workshops. So I know a thing or two about this stuff where others don't. Now I'm going to tell you, people say, well, don't you get enough vitamin D3 from the sun? No, you don't. Your body doesn't make enough of it. So you need to support it. You need to, to, to use a supplement. That's what supplements are for. They're there to supplement a deficiency in your lifestyle, your diet, or whatever it may be. So if you're not supplementing with D3, you're, you're absolutely missing out. Now, there are some foods, like they fortify some foods with Ds and and you know fish like fatty fish actually has some d in it, it uh, beef liver eggs but you you need to supplement it i mean that's the best way to get it um and by the way don't take vitamin d2 don't take d2 take d3 
D2 is the prescription that the doctors will give you. That's the 50,000 um, I use a, a, you know, a, a week or something like that. The research has shown is that is nowhere near as effective as vitamin D3, which is the natural form, the bioavailable form, the form that our body uses and can actually take and convert to other things. So that's what you need to do. So if anybody has questions about vitamin D3, why you should, why you shouldn't, please ask us. Uh, I'll put some more resources out there. I was just talking to my good friend Joe Mercola about this the other day, and, and he put some great info out about it, about why you should do it. There's just a lot of misinformation. So I'm going to encourage you to take the time, do the research, look at things for yourself, and don't get scared because, man, just because one doctor says, you are going to die if you do this, that's not necessarily true. That person may be wrong, and they may have, unfortunately, ulterior motives with it. Um, I don't. You guys, we don't make millions of dollars a year off selling vitamin D3. My job is to give you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Your job is to cipher through it and make up your own mind about what, what we should do with it. So I hope this uh, benefits you. I hope you guys uh, synergize with it. There's a lot more information like this coming down the pipe. i got a lot of stuff to share with you, uh, but I wanted to share this vitamin D3 tip with you. So make sure you and your family are taking vitamin D3. Oh, by the way, real quick side note, um, it's really shown a lot of research, and we've seen it anecdotally help with depression insomnia, anxiety, ADD, ADHD, kids that have things like that are on the autistic spectrum and everything in between. It's very, very important, very beneficial. So vitamin D3, take it, uh, do the research. Don't listen to these, these guys on mainstream media. I've sent videos out to all these guys. I've asked them to get me on the news. I asked uh, our folks at Fox 2 News to get, a, get me on the news again to talk about the um, the controversy that they, they stirred up with uh, coconut oil, which is very safe and very healthy, um, and they just won't let me because there's too many advertisers and too much money going into, you know, disin medicine or disin natural remedies because medicine is where the money's at. So I hate to say it, but that's the truth and the truth that sets you free. Love and appreciate you guys. Have a blessed, blessed day. Talk to you soon.